Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be filming the Too Faced times Jackie Aina foundation collab. Jackie collabed with Too Faced to create, I think it was nine new shades of their Born This Way foundation. Um, originally they didn't really go deep enough for me to even entertain the thought of trying this foundation out, which is funny because Too Faced and Tarte and It and all of them were kind of on my radar as like companies that I was just like, but when I found out Jackie was going to be collaborating with Too Faced to extend their foundation line, I was really excited about that. I remember her asking me what I was missing in the foundation world when I think then they first announced this collaboration. I feel like this is such a huge and iconic collaboration, so shout out to Jackie. Congratulations, girl. I know you guys have been waiting for me to try it. I've swatched it a few times and I think we might have a banger on our hands. I'm just not sure about the formula because I have never tried this foundation, never entertained it because the name alone kind of rubbed me the wrong way. And then the fact that it didn't go deep enough is like, okay, so I can't be born this way. So I kind of just like two faced out of my head. I think it's pretty awesome that they actually took the initiative to bring on a woman of color to extend their foundation lines. Um, they realized that there was something definitely missing in their foundation range. And I think it's so cool that instead of trying to figure it out on their own, they brought Jackie to kind of help them along the way, which was pretty awesome. They sent me the last three shades. They sent me Sable, Truffle, and Ganache. And I'm pretty sure Ganache is my shade, but I'm gonna go ahead and swatch Sable and the other two as well this one is sable i can't even see this oh that was really close that one's truffle <laughs> and then this last one is ganache which is pretty sure is my shade okay i'm just gonna put ganache somewhere over here and that one's ganache which looks like it's gonna be a really good match um, to my chest, so I'm really excited about that. So those are the last three shades. Sable to me looks like pretty red undertone, so if you have red undertones and are just a little bit lighter than me, Sable might work for you. Gun Truffle definitely has that more neutral kind of golden undertone, and then Ganache has more of that neutral cool red undertone so I'm happy about that so I'm gonna go ahead and prime my face with the Tatcha silk canvas primer I need to go get my nails done I'm going out of town tomorrow and of course I haven't done anything waited till the last minute to do everything I need to tell you guys what this foundation claims to do because like I said, I have never ever worn the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. So it's got a radiant finish, um, it's oil free, medium to full coverage, and natural looking radiant foundation. Let's see, ganache. I'm gonna pump two pumps on the back of my hand and we'll see how far that takes me. So that's what it looks like on the back of my hand. So far, so good. It's looking like we're gonna get a decent match to my chest. I love that it's dewy. I probably need to blend it down to my neck. The coverage is there. So far I'm thinking I see more of a medium, medium to full coverage. And the finish is really pretty. I think I like anything with a dewy finish. Like every time I get a dewy finish foundation, I'm like, the finish is so pretty. <laughs> it's the matte ones that kind of throw me off when I'm just like, oh no. I'm just gonna build it up a little bit more around my mouth area. Cause that tends to be a little darker than everywhere else. So I still have this much left, which I would consider probably like a pump. So it's kind of, that's pretty good. So a whole pump kind of completed my entire face. So this is what it's looking like right now. I'm definitely gonna have to blend down towards my chest just a tad. It might be too neutral for me. I'm gonna mix, add just a little bit of that sable on top, just to kind of like give me a little bit more redness. More my undertone. Just. Yeah, I think next time I use this foundation, I'll probably definitely mix sable with it. Cause I don't know if you guys can probably tell on camera, but I can tell here in real life. It does just look a little bit more neutral than I'm used to. Um, what is the shade described as? 
Let me see. Ganache says it's rich with neutral undertones. And yeah, that's what I was expecting. It does look just a tad bit more neutral than I'm used to. I'll probably show you guys what it looks like in daylight here in a second so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Truffle is rich with golden undertones, which is what I was telling you guys. Oh, I'm pretty good at this. <laughs> and then uh, Sable is rich with rosy undertones. So I think next time I use this foundation, I'll probably mix it with, I'll mix Ganache with Sable, and that'll probably give me a better, closer match to my undertone. But overall, the finish on this foundation is beautiful. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and blend this down to my neck. That kind of evens it out just a tad. There we go, that's better. It still looks a little more neutral in the face. I'm gonna use a concealer that's a little bit more on the redder side, so we'll see. So I'm using the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Concealer. I've been using this one lately and loving it. And also, hopefully it'll bounce, balance me out just a tad since I was looking a little bit more neutral than usual, than normal. So I'll go ahead and blend that out. Gonna quickly set my under eyes with the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. Just applying some blush. This is the Bare Minerals Gen Nude Blush. Ooh, she's rosy. So I'm gonna do a little highlight. I'm actually, in honor of Jackie, I'm gonna use La Peach today. Really? And this highlighter is super pigmented. So you definitely wanna go light and build your way up. So this is what my face is looking like right now. I just finished it really quickly off camera. I'm gonna go ahead and spray it down. So this is what it's looking like right now. I feel like with the full face, everything came together really beautifully. Um, and it looks like it's a little bit more balanced now than it was before, which is good. Um, yeah, so far I like the way it looks. I think the setting spray really helped a lot to kind of balance everything out. And the little blush kind of brought back some of my rosiness. And the highlighter, I used a rosy highlighter as well. So I think it looks pretty good so far. We're gonna see how this foundation wears. On my lips, I have the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade 70% Yum 856. It's actually really pretty. I like it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and jump over to outside so you guys can see that, and then I'll come back at the end of the night. What's up, guys? So this is outside. It's hot as hell already. I need to take my ass inside. But um, this is what it's looking like right now. I do feel like with everything that I applied onto it, like the... Um, the blush and the highlighter and the lipstick kind of helped to make it more redder than um, it was looking earlier. I do think that this is a true neutral undertone, meaning that it does have hints of red and it does have more hints of um, golden undertones. It just is a little bit more golden on me because I have really red undertones. You guys can probably tell in my chest. Um, it's a little redder here where my neck is I blended. I'm, not, I'm really out here sweating yeah. <laughs> So I blended it down to my neck so you guys can tell like right here in my chest I'm a little redder than I am on my neck because I don't have anything on my neck to kind of balance out the foundation If you guys can tell if my camera is not fooling me. Yeah, you can definitely tell that it's a little bit more neutral on my neck This is what it's looking like like I said, I don't think it's a bad match I just think that it's a little slightly off on the undertone. So we'll see how it looks throughout the day I'll see you guys Later on tonight in the shooting room, I'm getting out of this heat. I'm going back inside. <laughs> 
Alrighty guys, so I'm back. The lashes unfortunately did not survive. It's like one something, so yeah, the lashes did not survive. Uh, surprisingly, this lipstick still stayed on, so I was really happy about that. I'll be wearing that again soon. Let's talk about this foundation. So you guys can probably see so far how the foundation is looking like. I still feel like the undertone is just a little bit too neutral for me. I'm not really even gonna complain about that because I know it's really hard when it comes to deeper shades. I know that the foundations that go as deep as me are super, super red. So whenever I come across a foundation that's more on the neutral side or more on the golden side, I'm okay with it because I know that there's other people out there that do have deep skin like me that just don't have the red undertones that I do. So that's a plus, that's a win. If you have golden neutral undertones and you're around my skin tone, you're gonna love this foundation because it does have that more neutral undertone that's balanced between the golden and the more red tones um, for me I'm just on the red side so I prefer more of a red foundation but some foundations do take it too far and go super red like Oompa Loompa orange red and that's not cute uh, the formula on this foundation did not hold up in the Texas heat <laughs> I've had to retouch it a few times because it was just like it was, it was just dripping off on me and it's not it had this has nothing to do with the shade or anything I think it's just the formula of the foundation it was super hot in Texas you can't go anywhere without some, like not sweating especially right now it's like 100 degrees every single day or more and in and out of the car situation like I did today it's just not cute so you definitely want a foundation that's not gonna melt off your face um, I'm pretty sure you guys could tell just that little check-in that I was doing earlier during the day I was already sweating like around my nose Nose and like around this forehead my forehead area was already starting to like sweat down I reapplied it right there so you don't see it as much so all in all I think this is a good foundation I really think Jackie did a really good job with these shades as far as like thinking about the different undertones that are not represented right now on the market so I really appreciate that um, especially for our girls that are as deep as me that just have that neutral undertone you definitely have a shade in this collection so shout out to Jackie for coming through my sister has a uh, really neutral undertones and has that golden undertone that comes out a little bit on her chest so I think this is gonna be a great match for her I can't wait for her to try it I think she's really gonna love it if you're in like a more cooler climate you're gonna love this foundation it's dewy I feel like it gives you a really nice beautiful finish I think that's all I have for this video congratulations again Jackie for creating something so iconic congratulations to Too Faced for realizing that there was something missing in their foundation foundation line and actually bringing a woman of color on to just do what needed to be done thank you guys so much for watching lots of love and I'll see you guys next time